What's up guys, Coach Will from ProTrainingBB.com and today I'm going to give you three mistakes post players often make. Alright guys, I'm going to teach you three common mistakes post players make and it's, it's really just the nature of the game. Uh, a lot of times people don't want to be in the post and they start trying to play like a guard, but I'm going to teach you three mistakes that you can try and get rid of or phase out of your game so you can be a better post player. And the first move that, or mistake that most people make is that they dribble too much or too often in the post, okay? So when you get the ball down the post, the key as a post player is to get as close to the basket as you can, okay? There's no need to get to the three-point line when you have a smaller guy on you that you can take advantage of in the post. So that means trying to get that great position down above the block, even if you can get down here below the block, so you can just turn and score. Okay, so a good post player is always trying to get the best position they can before they score. And if you can do this, you're either getting an angle or close to the basket, and dribbling shouldn't, shouldn't even be required. Okay, so as, when I was playing, I was always trying to get down here, at least at the block, right? So when I'm down here on the block, I have the ability to go over my right shoulder and left shoulder, and it's easy just to use a hook shot, okay? So... That's what you need to focus on. That's, that's gonna phase out this dribbling as, as best you can by getting good position. But again, if you get that angle, so if there's a defender trying to take away this pass over here and you can get an open target here, if you work with your teammate and talk to them how to pass to you in the post because you want the ball here with this open hand, all you need to do is let that pass lead you into your move as you catch it and you're coming here to score because the defender's already on this low side. All right, same thing if they're up on this high side you can do the same thing. So that's an easy way to phase out the dribble. But even if you catch the ball, and say you're, say you're in the mid post, you catch the ball, and you, you might need to dribble, you don't need to dribble right away, right? You need to assess the floor, you can reverse pivot, see where the defender is, maybe hit that 10 foot jumper, and if you can't make that shot, that's okay. You come here, let the defender come out on you, use one, maybe two dribbles to seal him off, and then finish, okay? And if there's nothing there, you can pass the ball back out. So dribbling is a key thing that a lot of post players do too much in the post. Um, there is, you should be able to dribble and know when to dribble, but don't always dribble in the post when you can get better position. So the second mistake post players make is that they try and become a guard too soon. They don't perfect their craft, and then they try and spread themselves too thin. So what I mean by that is, as a post player, there's a lot of skills that you need around the basket, whether it's footwork, finishing, or post moves, things like that that you need to be able to do in the post before you need to be able to do it on the perimeter because there's a reason why you're in the post, right? You have teammates that can shoot the three, you have teammates that can um, handle the ball in transition. That's not what you, you're there to do. So let's master what you're good at or what you're needed for in the t on the team before you start um, bridging out and, and working on those other skill sets. So um, when, I was in, when I was playing, the first thing I would do in the gym is I'd come in here and I'd work on my touch, I would work on my finishing, and I would work on all things post. And this is in fourth, fifth, and sixth grade. Like those were my priorities. And I'd make sure I had good form because a good form will help you down the road. So you work on those skills every day, day in and day out. And before you know it, you become a master at those and it's gonna cross over to the game. And then once you start becoming better at these skills, you'll notice that you're gonna be on the court more, you're gonna be playing more, and you're gonna be exposed to more situations where you can then expand your game. So not only will you be utilized in the post all the time, but when your teammate drives, you might see yourself popping out to the three and have an open shot. And that's where you start realizing what other areas you're going to be used in the game and then you start working on those and, and adapting and hopefully you realize that right away so it's a seamless transition. But you don't need to start it right away, especially if you're a fourth, fifth, or sixth grader. Focus on what you're good at, focus on what you're needed for, and then you can expand into those guard roles. And the last mistake post players make is that they don't ask for the ball enough and they don't try to get the ball enough. So this is really twofold, right? Now if I'm in the post and I'm open, I need, to, I need to be confident and ask or call for the ball because I work too hard to get this position. Guards sometimes don't appreciate how hard it is to get that position with a good defender on you. So you need to call for it. You need to appreciate when you get it. It doesn't mean you need to shoot when you get it, 
you might get it down here. Some of the best post players are the best passers because the defense will collapse and you can hit your open teammate. And so if you can help your teammates realize that you're a good passer also out of the post, they're going to be more willing to get you the ball in the post. But really the more important issue to this is that you think you're not getting the ball enough and you don't try hard enough to get the ball. So as a post player, there's a lot of ways to get the basketball. The easiest way is to sit here, call for the ball and have your teammate pass to you, right? And that's what a lot of post players kind of don't see past is that there's other opportunities to get the ball, right? If I'm a post player, I could probably average 10 points a game without getting one pass. And all that requires me to do is rebound. Okay, the first thing is to rebound as best you can. Now, if I'm here, I'm three feet away from the basket. If someone misses a shot, because we all know Tony misses a lot of shots, most of those rebounds are going to be within five, ten feet of the basket, and those are your opportunities to get the ball in scoring position and score more points. So even if you score 15 points a game, you can increase your average to 20 just by rebounding, you know, getting offensive rebounds and more opportunities to score in the paint. The second thing that people don't do is they don't run the floor hard enough. You know, a lot of times you have a guard that's pushing the ball in transition and they're more than willing to pass to you because when you're running in transition, you're probably outrunning the other team's post player. You run, run in transition, outrun the post player, you're wide open. No guard's going to turn up an easy assist unless they're extremely selfish and there might be some out there. But run in transition, get that easy pass. That's two or three more point baskets a game for you to have. So those are the three mistakes a lot of post players make. They overlook. I want you to add those to your game and you become a better post player. All right, guys, that's it for this week. Hope you liked this week's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos. And if you have any suggestions, leave those in the comments down below. And last week's video is right here, so you can check that out. Hopefully we can see you next week. Peace. Get two free workouts by clicking the link in the top right-hand corner of this video and jumpstart your workout regimen today.